Before, before the dam was uh, built, we were living there in the middle of the dam. We got butchery there, we got houses there, we got a bottle store, we got uh, farming uh, land, we got even the ground you're playing, everything was washed away. We were sleeping in the middle of the night when the rain was, a lot of rains and that dam was fall. Luckily, because uh, the water was not fast coming to us. So and then we managed to, to run away. We didn't manage to take what we have got. Only you're going out what you have. And then you left everything from there. When I moved here, I was 25 years old. So I'm 45 now. Yeah, because I left everything there. Yeah, even uh, in that time, I just bought a nice car. But all was in vain because everything what we had got was left it there. Because that the, the dam, the wall dam was about three quarter high, you know, so so it started rising, and uh, all those houses that were almost along the river valley, Ngena River Valley, were flooded. You know. What makes it worse is that this thing happened during the night when, when most people were asleep. To rise to, to, to higher places like this, like the church here, that's where people slept. We ran away from our houses, then we go to full up in the in the church's hall, in the school hall. We was here for 19 days from from 28th of September up to 17th of October in the same year. We, we was here. On the 17th of October, we moved here in the Morini. Then we start there to get suffering. Until today, this is a teen house. There was one teen house, doesn't matter how many families you got, but you stay in this teen house. Right, this teen house is a terrible hot, it's a terrible cold. We, we moved uh, due to the construction of another dam and uh, I, I remember the day when we were moved, I was at work and uh, uh, a phone call rang and to my parents were phoning me to letting me know that the, 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 the house has been demolished and we have been moved to another place and uh, yeah, and when I came back from work, uh, I went there and I realized that there were lots of furniture that were uh, uh, Broken, lots of you know, provided with few teens and all the, 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 the and all those things. Yeah, we were told that they are going to build another dam there. They are going to remove us, but we get no place to to put to put us. So we were told that we must come here and wait for the to get another land where they are going to build us the houses. So we came here into Zuma, waiting for the, the, the place called the Release Era 91, where we're going to have uh, cows, goats, and everything, and farm, farming there. We, they didn't do that. When we came there, after we were told that uh, the, the area that we were going to get was not there, instead they, 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 they uh, gave us uh, 5.6 million for compensation, but that money went to Chief Mzunjani. And we didn't get that money still now. We are now fighting to get that money still now. We haven't got that. People are, are living in, in a small houses. We, we, when we were there, we had uh, big families. 
In here, we've got children sleeping in one room with children, which is no good. At the end of the day, we did identify a land which was called Release Area 91, which is here at Inanda, which we thought it was suitable for us. But uh, because of the squatters that were living into that, onto that land, they refused for us to buy, for, for, to, to, to settle on that land, and they took the matter to their liquor resource center, of which at the end of the day, we lost that land. After losing that land, uh, the, the chief then negotiated with us to say we should then ask for monetary compensation. When the money arrived, uh, the, the chief never informed the affected families because the check was marked Kati Tribal Authority. Then he thought that, he, he never thought, you know, he, he, he decided that that money was for his whole Tribal Authority excluding the evicted families from another them who were supposed to be provided with another land. He took that money. He, he was supposed to open a trust uh, account for that money. He didn't do that. He took the money to the magistrate, magistrate in Dwedway. And from there, the money was then deposited into an account, a trust account held by Department of Trade and Affairs in 1994, which is controlled by Ulundi. The money was banked and sit there from 1994 till 1999. Then in 1999, Department of Traditional Affairs issued another check back to the chief for the same value of 5.6 million rand. The chief wanted that money because he wanted, that his statement, he wanted to develop his tribal land. Nothing to do with the affected families. The affected families are squatted all over without land, without compensation. In 1999, when the chief got money, the money back, it had no interest. And that money, as per the documentation in my position from the uh, Department of Traditional Affairs, was then misused or corrupted by the officials of Gadi Tribal Authority.